How's your energy Southern Arizona? Good evening to you. I'm Paul C. Cullum. It was game two of the NBA playoff showdown between the LA Lakers and the Phoenix Suns and it's no secret there are plenty of U of A connections with Miles Simon being an assistant coach with the Lakers while DeAndre Ayton of course is the former University of Arizona basketball standout in the playoffs this year playing quite well. Let's go to the highlights. Well, let's pick things up in the second quarter. DeAndre Ayton and the Suns are trying to hang as the Lakers jump out early and Cameron Payne is about to throw it up for the Suns to the former Wildcat and I say two down. How you like them now? The Maricopa County residents, they're going bonkers. Nice outfits. Don't forget, Aiton is from the U of A. Not Maricopa County. Bear down. But in the fourth, it was the Lakers and LeBron James bearing down till the end as LA ties the series up after the 109-102 victory. Going back to Cali. Hey, the Arizona Wildcat women's golf team barely made it to the Elite Eight and match play of the NCAA championships by just one stroke as an eight seed, Arizona would have to go up against the number one seed, Stanford, who swept through play, placing first by 13 strokes more than the second place team. 13 strokes before the second place team, of course, that was Duke. Yes, they were that dominant, Stanford was, but throw out the records in match play. Why is that? Well, remember, when the Wildcats won the national championship three years ago, they also knocked off a number one seed. News for Tucson's very own David Kelly joins us with more from Scottsdale. Welcome to the picturesque Greyhawk Golf Club in Scottsdale. It's the NCAA Women's Golf Championships. And Tuesday morning, the Arizona Wildcats upset top seed Stanford to advance to the program's third straight Final Four. Let's take a look at how it all went down in match play. Head coach Laura Ionello relying on a couple of sensational sophomores. Vivian Ho here on 14 tied with the Cardinal Sadie Engelman staring down the birdie putt on a par four and she drains it. Ho goes to one up. She would win 2-1 on 15. Ya Chun Chang aka Money needed this putt to stay alive. She misses, however, money falls four and three. The match was tied 2-2 on 18. Sophomore Gile Bitte Starkute. You can tell she doesn't like this second shot. It ended up behind a bush. She would have to take a drop. Stanford's Angelina Yee need just make this par putt for the win. She misses. Then Starkute for bogey to force a playoff and we are headed to a 19th hole where Starkute from the fringe with a birdie chance for the win. It doesn't get much more clutch than that. The Wildcats upset Stanford three and two to advance to a third straight final four. It felt absolutely amazing, not gonna lie. And it's just, uh, as I was walking up to that green, Coach Jay was just saying to me, you can make it, you can make it. and. The last words that he said before I put it were, make it, so I just made it. That she did, and it was on to the afternoon semifinal. Arizona taking on Mississippi, and have we not heard that already multiple times this week? For that side of the story, Paul, I'll send it back to you in the studio. Hey, that's right, David. Arizona softball team just knocked off Ole Miss in the Tucson Regional. Good job out there, my man. All right, now in the Final Four with a trip to the championship match on the line, Arizona will take on Ole Miss in the late afternoon. And in match play, Arizona trailing, but got to love shots like this from Yu Song Ho right on the money. Honey, she had to win that hole, and a bit later, her sister, Vivian Ho, hoping to win the hole on this long putt, and B-E-A, beautiful. Arizona, who trailed during the first half of the semifinal, was trying to make a comeback, but sadly, this is how the Wildcats would see the game-winning putt for Ole Miss on a big screen. That's all she wrote. As the team awaited their fate, they saw it there standing there. Tough loss. The Wildcats lose 3-2, to two, but heck, nothing to be ashamed about after upsetting the best team in the nation, Stanford, and making it to the Final Four once again. That's it for now. I'm Paul C. Kala for News 4 Tucson Sports. We'll be right back with a last look at your weather.